Hello, beautiful people. It's Sarah here. Yes, famous. I'm famous. Anyway, YouTube star and wonderful person. Anyway, ha, I don't know about that. Okay, so this is what I'm doing now. This is for my collab for um, our rogue community collab that's due the last of uh, February, which is not barely two weeks away, but I'm starting it today. Finally got up the courage to do it because I'm chicken. I'm chicken. I'm going to mess something up. So this is what I'm doing. I have all my supplies. I'm, it's called for chunking. Mr. Mr. Rappy says it's called for chunking. You take five minute, five minute increments of time and you set the timer and you go five minutes. And then if you decide you can go longer, it makes it less intimidating that way. So I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to set the timer. I'm just going to go and I'm going to try. It's going to be like a base for the pouring painting. And then I'm going to put images over it, but it'll probably take a couple of days to dry because the paint will be really thick. But I've I'm, I'm got everything all mixing together here. I have my flow trawl flood right here and I'm mixing black and white in with it because I'm going to have the back, the the gray for the base color and then I'm gonna mix uh put some little gray in or gray in here and some black in this one and some white in this little cup and maybe more cups because I think this is gonna probably take more than three little cups but then I'm going to take um hang on a minute don't go anywhere okay so then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use this that I found at the free store. Um, I'm just going to like kind of let it drip through this and see, I haven't tried to see how it works. It's gonna be kind of cool. And then I'm going to move it around with my little tool right here. I don't know where I got this plastic fork, but I thought it was cool. I got it at Dollar Tree. I thought it was kind of cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get started. I'm going to show it in a little bit because I can't film. I don't have a tripod. I can't film and work at the same time. So I'm going to, I'll show you in a little bit how the progress is going. Bye. Looks like peace and love. Okay, so... I've got the black and the white and the gray and the white in the little cups. And I'm going to mix the blow trawl. This stuff right here. This cool stuff. Blow trawl flood. I, I'm almost out. I need to buy more. Blow trawl flood with it. And then I'm going to... So I transferred the paint into baby food jars because my little cups were too small to mix in the blow trawl and the water that I had to get it thin enough so that it'll run off the end of my pencil that I stir it with because I don't have any of them little stir sticks because I have no idea where they went which is nothing unusual so I'm going to begin and then I'm going to show you what happened so like I said I'm gonna pour it through this little and this is a baking sip or something you're supposed to cook cookies with, but I don't care. It was free. So I'm going to pour the paint through here and see what happens. And I will show you in just a minute, okay? Well, this is not what I thought would happen. And I'm not at all happy with this. Not at all pleased. But I guess for right now, and then, you know, of course. So there you go. Bye. Okay, so this is what I had more of what I envisioned in the first place. So I just took a mix some more of the black paint and the white paint with the flow trowel, and I just swirled them around in random places. And this is making me happier already. Uh, the gray was too black. It just didn't make me happy. So I threw the, the, the baking sieve away in disgust because it was just an experiment that didn't work so it's all good and i'm happy with this now i am extremely more happy with it so this is going to be a really cool cool background for my uh collab my yeah 
Room Community Collab. It's going to be groovy. I'm excited now. It's like, I really like it. Yeah. 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 This is some of my children on the wall. Yes. My children on the wall. It's all good and groovy. You know. So, there you go. Bye. <laughs> It's like peace and love. Okay, whatever. Just a couple minutes later, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. It's like it's evolving. It's like the paint is still moving all by itself. It's like it's blending and moving into itself. So it's not as swirly, but it's still interesting. That's really strange why it did that. I guess it just has a movement it's like once it's like energy once it gets going that's what it does and it's trying to run off the edges right here um a little bit and it's it's just it's still in motion that's the thing when something when this gets dry the thing with with a, like a pouring or a swimming piece when it gets dry it changes from what you originally had because it's in motion just like all of life, nothing ever, nothing ever stays the same than what you planned. It's all because it's in motion and it's beyond my control. The energy of the universe. So what I'm doing here is, okay, I painted my cat. And I don't know if you remember from the first that... Um, I had some wonderful spirals going on in the middle of it, and uh, the canvas got tilted, so the spirals ran off the edge, and that didn't make me happy because I wanted to have the spirals because it's like the cat is kind of come out, coming out of a vortex. It's like a self-portrait. So I have my little paint in my little jars here, my little paint in my jars, my liquid paint, and then I have the black. So then... I masked this off with some masking tape, and then around the edges, I put some fl uh, gel medium, is what it is. It's like a medium that you use to mix with your paint. So I put it around the edge to keep the paint, hopefully, we shall see, from seeping under the edges and spoiling the image of the cat. So, and I could show you what it looked like before and hoping that I don't mess it up. So I think it's almost dry. I think, yeah, the, the, so and then afterwards I'll peel the paint off and hopefully it'll be a clear image. So I guess we're going to find out because I'm going to do it right now. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, we're going to pour the paint. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Got that I'm going to put some white on there. Ready? Ah, this is scary. It's very scary. I don't like it. Oh! It's the vortex. Creating a vortex. God! It's like really, really too much white right there. Too much white in my vortex. I don't like it! I'm going to put more of the that might be better. I don't know. I'm not so sure that I like it at all. This really does. I don't want a vortex. Just, it's just going to be a vortex here. I don't know what this is going to be. I know I'm moving the thing gonna make everybody sick to their stomach. 
they give me kind of sick. Yeah. Okay, dudes. Okay, let's leave it alone. Enough. Enough of that. Okay. This is an experiment. This is a self portrait of a cat, but it's me coming out of the sort of like a vortex. He's coming out, uh, escaping to freedom. And this is tape. I put tape over the image and then I poured paint around it. And I think I got a lot of paint here. It might take a bit to dry. And it's actually supposed to be due tomorrow for an online art challenge. And I am not completely sure if it's going to be dry enough to take the rest of the tape off. But I think some of it, I took the first layer of tape off. And luckily I had another layer underneath because I wanted to see if it would to dry around the image. I like... I like this world. I like what's happening here. I have to make sure that I keep it perfectly flat because the first time that I tried to do the swirl, the uh, canvas somehow got tilted without my realizing and all the paint ran down off the bottom and made my nice swirls straight again. And I want to keep them swirls. I mean, I know it's going to change. It always changes some when it dries, but not that much, I hope. So it'll keep the essence of the swirls that, that, that you know, the, the part that he's escaping from. It's uh, So hopefully by tomorrow, it'll be dry enough that I can take the rest of the paint of the tape off. Not the paint, the tape. And then I can touch in. I know I'm going to have to touch in a few spots like around the ears because I have the feeling that I accidentally pulled the first layer of tape off too. So I'm going to have to go in and redo around his ears. But the rest of it looks pretty good. Like I haven't damaged it too much by putting all this really, really thick paint on here. But like I said, it's an experiment. Everything that I do with my art it's, uh, is an experiment. It's trying something new. And that's what the whole collab was about is trying something new. So Thank you, Mr. Ruffy, for and Miss Clee for the inspiration. It's like peace, peace and love and all that crap. Bye. The canvas got tilted without my knowledge. I didn't understand it. So then when it dried, all the paint ran off the bottom right here and made everything straight. Well, that's why I went back and did this. So I'm hoping by tomorrow that it will be dry enough so that I can actually go in and take the tape off and then touch up maybe the edges around the ears because I think that I have accidentally took the other tape off there and I may have obliterated the ears. But like I said, this is an experiment. So whatever happens, it's all in fun at this point. So peace and love and all the good things. Okay, so it's done. It's finally done. I'm excited. I'm going to post it on my online art challenge. Yay!